players, it's going to be tough for him. I'm not yep. going to lie. But it's going to be far from impossible. He's been playing fantastically today and guaranteed fifth here at the very least. Let's see who can take down who as we start things off on Pokemon Stadium 2 for Lucy's Court. And that right there, starting it off already, is a big part of why this matchup can be kind of annoying too. Because Yoshi doesn't believe in getting Shield Poke. That's not a thing. But those big command gaps, those big inhales, you want to eat me, I can too. That's a great way to consistently force Yoshi to go into air, went on air there's right now though. This is all damage you're guaranteed to take. But see how Suarez can capitalize on it, almost getting the kill already off the top. You know, it's funny, one of the things that we were both highlighting earlier was the fact that Inhale acts as an aerial command grab, something very few characters in this cast have, and something that weaves seamlessly into his kit. Suarez also has that by way of Egg Ray, and he makes such good use of it. Yeah, right now, the, these anti-airs coming in from Every time RJ pops up, it messed me up. Yo, <laughs> these, RJ, these, these, nice. these, these anti airs coming in from Adamus are so good. But you're going to be forced to, yeah, you have to hold shield there, that egg lay on ledge. Try to catch him with the jab stagger into uh, Yoshi Bomb. Actually, pretty solid. Much like that hammer to the face, that back air is going to get the kill. It's just a matter of continuing the onslaught, though, from Suarez because he's doing such a good job of occupying that air space. Ooh. That's also another thing that I've noticed as we've entered this top eight. Suarez has found a big love for his big forward there. He's so good at ledge trapping in general all night. Like, once he's gotten here, oh, wow, big anti-air house match at, at that low percent, I bet. Oh, now he's throwing out a lot of backers. He wanted the aggressive approach so bad from Suarez. He is, this is borderline 80, like 88% unanswered. He is dominating the stock right now, trying to even it back up. The Adams is just swinging his way out of disadvantage tooth and nail to bring us to last stock. And honestly, the way that he's playing now, he very well could. Yeah, trying to keep it going. Right? Okay, trying to fade away from that forward air. Not going to get hit. Just keeping everything going right now in the favor of Adamus. Finds the up smash. He's going to take it out. And this, that big lead that Suarez had disappearing so quickly after getting what was an amazing stock there. All of that damage started with a wayward up smash, and that whole stock ended with an up smash. Fantastically just, just a little bit of Adamus. foreshadowing. Just go ahead, Cap, like, making sure that he understood. Hey, just so you know, this is coming back for you later. Oh, is he going to chase him off stage? Trying to reread the high recovery with that backer. Almost getting a hitbox extension if he decided to jump in instantly through that egg lay or the egg toss. Like, it looks so precarious for Suarez because even though he's doing a great job of throwing around Adamus, he's not getting the kill off these hits. Everybody does not fear neutral get up in front of him whatsoever. And also, hanging onto the ledge for a little bit too long. That forward air is going to get the kill. And most of that is because he was scared after getting hit by neutral get up all those, uh, all those times. Really well conditioned from, like right there, once again, he just got hit for it. So he went low. He has no invincibility here. As soon as it fades out, hi there. Blah. <laughs> just big hit. A very big hit, as <laughs> evident by the lack of stuff between Yoshi and Where the target. hell is that? Wow. Big wow. 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 Owen Wilson out here. Get you know, it. I'm really curious to see how Adamus is adjust what he's doing because he was actually keeping up really well. That whole second stop on Suarez was flawless. But Suarez dictated the pace of all of that game one. Yeah, exactly. Like, that was, oh, now we're seeing a whole pace control right now. Getting a couple back airs, getting off the jump of that double jump armor coming in. There's that big command grab. Forcing over to the left side of stage. I had to jump super far away from disadvantage. And I'm really liking the way that Adamus is starting to pressure him now. Because before, hey, he got he got that really good stock. But he, oh, he got an incredible How stock is what he stock. got. Go ahead, jump him up the ledge. You want to put that big old nose in front of me? I'll just go ahead and drop my belly on it. You know something really smart that Adamus did there, AJ? Throughout the entire pressure from one side of the ledge to the other side of the ledge, he kept on putting Gordo on the platforms. It guaranteed that Suarez could not jump out of pressure. And that's, a he, that's a big reversal. That's a huge reversal. He gave up too much there, Frank. He went deep off stage to go for the double forward airs. And because he did, it's like, all right, bet. I'm going to trade with you or at best find this back air and you just die. Now he's up here three stocks to one. Not undoable because Yoshi can put out a lot of damage, but it's going to kind of suck as he takes a lot of trades and gets jump red so hard right there into the outpair. There's a lot of work ahead of Suarez if he's looking to take back this game too because Adams came out the gate swinging so hard. <laughs> and with all of that rage that's built up and considering <laughs> the fact that Adams can survive so long, 
it takes hit confirms like that to guarantee that Adams doesn't just swing on you and end it all. Yeah, luckily for Yoshi. Oh, never mind. All right, the forward air is able to do, and we got the 1-1 count. You're Almost up. in a blink of an eye. You're up with stock there, and you got no damage. Why not? If you take a forward air, you ain't dying. Go ahead. Go off stage. Put those forward airs out there. After this, there's that jump. So he chased him out. He knew the egg toss had to happen here, so he found the gap right after that. And at best, if that egg hits him, he's probably still getting tricked. Yo, why? Wait, DDD. It, it looks yeah, like Z actually. No, no, DDD is laying an egg, bro. Oh my. Oh my. Oh Queen dear. DDD? Queen DDD. What? <laughs> I'm getting into the next game. <laughs> we got we got game number three. Animus versus Suarez once again. Ready to get right back to PSU, as we already know. Incredible stage for Yoshi because of strings just like this. But Animus at least has room to work with to change his position and get back out of the uh, like these big combos. Typically speaking, if you see Suarez pick into another stage or really any Yoshi, they want triplats for themselves. Mm -hmm. No sane individual is giving triplats to DDD because you're you're giving a ton of free landing space and available space for contention to a character with very reliable disjoints and as we've consistently seen from Adamus within this top eight alone, very good anti-air tools. Yeah, I think a big part of why he can see, like he keeps going back here, he's, he's content with having the, ra the range to work with, where it takes, for one, those hits take forever to get to that blast zone. Two, he's got a lot of room to reset neutral whenever he's getting pressured pretty hard. Right now, getting pressured by these back airs, but that is where things become obvious for Yoshi at this percent. He's gonna hump for it a bunch, and that's gonna allow Adamus to once again get a big punish out of that command grab and calling him out on the jump once again with the upper killing off the top. But we're gonna see tight stocks. Like Suarez has just done such a good job of making sure that if Adamus does manage a lead and he's got some safe landing space, he can tie it back up. We really didn't see any of that in game two because Adamus guaranteed that he was able to just press forward. Oh, oh, press forward, holding forward for sure. Almost catching him with that dash that kill once again. Trying to catch him on the forward air, send him, oh, actually send him back in the center stage. Okay, maybe trying to read an air dodge down or something. Right now, so still holding the lead relatively solid. Let's see about the sledge shot. Oh, drag down! Oh, that's cute. Not getting the kill off of up tilt, but that's still threatening kill. And it's a lot of damage unanswered. Dude, like, he is really struggling. Oh, wait a minute. All that right, would have. Right. Oh, 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 he gets the footstool. Yeah, they're all attention. All of them. He definitely wanted that downer right there, but he gets the footstool. Suarez is definitely taking a second on the Angel platform to think about what just happened. As we looking at what, you know, Adamus can end up moving up here 2 1 in the set. It's very possible. Especially when you consider how competently Adamus is playing this matchup. He's making sure not to overextend. He's making sure that anytime he gets forward out off stage, and it's DDD, man. DDD swings hard. Yeah, like that. Look, man, you have to have some actual like pectorals and some really strong biceps to be carrying around that that hammer that way. Right now, though, once again, he keeps jumping directly out, trying to get the like the double jump armor. <laughs> Yoshi but armor kind of nice. <laughs> like, who gives a damn about that? I got a multi hit up here, bro. It's just, it's just it's consistently working on the chase. There we go again. There's that command grab once again. And there's the jump once again. Keep jumping directly Ooh. above me after that. It ain't gonna work. <laughs> the side be sending it off the wrong way, but down smash covers the landing. And just as you projected, we've got the 2 1 in the set count. Looking for Adamus. He's on route to get himself into loser semifinals. And the way that he's playing right now, I don't know if Suarez has the answers to stop him. I think, oh wow, actually he ended up going to the, he ended up fading in enough to get to the left-hand side of him so he could catch him and get the kill on the right. But I agree, and this is why at the very beginning, uh, you know, it may not seem like it on paper when people see DDD like, ha, ah, DDD bad, but this character actually has a couple matchups where he can annoy people's existence. This being one of them, that inhale has been putting in so much work. The consistent ability to call out Suarez's jumps. So if you keep doing it, I'm gonna keep hitting you for it. And it's been so good so far here, as we see the switch up from small bat uh, from bat uh, blah, 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 PS2 <laughs> to small battlefield. <laughs> Bro, I've been at it for a while today. I want to hear it. I'm trying to keep. I can't English anymore. All right. <laughs> hey man, look, are you been speaking words? <laughs> Any <laughs> Anyways, chat, as we get back into the game here, we see Suarez actually getting a little bit, uh, like a couple, a couple more, couple better hits here and there, but he needs to capitalize big here as he gets reversed with that forward air from Adamus. Now, as far as stage switches are concerned, I do think this is a really good switch from Suarez, and it's proving itself very quickly, unfortunately. Oh too deep 
not enough vertical momentum from the egg throw or the air dodge. It's going to bring us to the tights. It's Spot so count. important when that happens to anybody. I mean this heavily. Put that in your back pocket. It happened. It is what it is. You have to learn how to rebound from that because the best in the business know how to. If you let that get to you, it's going to annoy you to death. But as we see, it's not getting the Suarez as he already answered with 90%. The fact that this stage is not as long as Stadium, I think is why it's such a good stage pick for Suarez because there's not as much room for Adams to control with Gordo or in general run away. He's forced to run into a lot of Yoshi buttons and you know Yoshi's be putting those buttons out. Big green button, my best friend. And that up air is not his best friend. It is Adam's best friend for sure. Got oh, multiple up airs. Tried to catch him on the jump away. He caught him with the down smash last time. So I agree with that. Send that back to the receiver, he decides to throw out the uh, guard out there, sends it right back. Now, Suarez actually taking a small lead. You need to run though because of exactly that. The trade's always in the favor, gets the anti-air, and now we could be looking at what could be Suarez's elimination. You know, in spite of Suarez doing a great job of building up all of this damage very well, Adamus is doing such a good job of forcing the battle into the air where Suarez is not prepared for it and where a lot of DDD's tools rack up big damage from anti-air call-outs. Look at the way that's first, this last stop Oh, the option out. coverage! I cannot believe he got around that. That corridor was right there. The dash attack was incoming. Adamus looking for what is probably another jumpy back air. There it is. Let's see what he does about the ledge. Frank, this is not looking too good for Suarez. And he gets fourth thrown, he gets mixed again. You know, Adamus has been playing so well. Past that game one, Adams has made so sure that he can keep Woo! things competitive. And every throw that he's pulling out is either netting him stage control or threatening Suarez's life. Yeah, exactly. That's the big thing. But now Suarez gets him close. He's got to watch out for his jump at the ledge. That Gordo's going to send him back. Suarez starting to wake up a little bit. But one good up smash. One good drag down bear. No, oh, he gets him, but he doesn't get the gun. Stop. Finds him with the eggs. No, he gets away. Adam is trying to find the ground. And he gets him with the back on the cross up. And that is going to be Adamisk moving on into loser semis, knocking Suarez out here in fifth place. And what was an extremely stressful game number four. Adam just played that out so well. And at no point was he dissuaded by how well Suarez was adjusting. Because we started to see Suarez act a lot more aggressive, especially in that game four. I think everything clicked for him. But riding along on the wind of the inhale, Mispositioned Suarez, putting him in prime position to catch that back air. It looked like Suarez was, yeah. Oh, you can see it. He wanted the up smash. There it is. He wanted that up smash so bad. And that cost him the match. If that was a second off, but look at the timing. Gets the back air. Suarez wanted it. He couldn't capitalize on it. And Adamus moves on. It was very well earned from Adamus. And that's why he's one of New Jersey's finest. Mm -hmm.